He's holding like a Super Nintendo cartridge. Yeah. <laughs> Did they just not mention that? I quit! I'm out! Whoa, whoa! I wonder how many times he has said that before. <laughs> steps is the easy part of the adventure. What do you say, Morty? I say, give me a hand, sidekick. Ugh. That'd be a lot easier if they had the boots. Oh, yeah. Where'd they get a gun? Or someone had a katana in the house. Oh, I mean, it's in America, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, a horse is more confusing than... So he was a jelly bean. I didn't get that until like, they, just, they just said it. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he said his name was Mr. Jellybean. Coincidence? I, I didn't hear that. I mean, I, I mean, not all characters are what they're named. Yeah. I mean, one character in particular. And um, th th this was uh, Rick and Morty Season 1, Episode 5, Rick and Morty Go to Giant Jail. Is, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. The, um... Yeah, I, I like the giants. I mean, like you know, the, I mean, I liked that giant that uh, you know, that the the lawyer giant. Yeah, he, he yeah. was a nice guy. If I, uh, if I free you from, yeah, uh, yeah. go home. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm. Hmm. The other giants, they weren't as nice. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, who made those like prisoner outfits though? That's true. Like, I mean, <laughs> yeah. like, everything else they have is made for giants. Well, they they don't live in a world with only giants. There are yeah. also small people, so... Yeah. I was going to say, like, from a dollhouse or something. Pr Barbie mm. prison. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's mm. the Meeseeks. Uh, yeah, the Meeseeks, yeah. I know. Like, the, the Meeseeks were the most memorable thing about the episode, even though they weren't the A-plot... I don't know. It's I mean, like it's really kind of. Usually, it's more like usually it's more like uh usually like this one was pretty evenly divided. I think I don't hmm. know. Like, yeah. I mean, at, at least I mean, like the Meeseeks were the highlight of the episode. I think. Yeah. I feel like if anything, it focused on Rick and Morty less. Than yeah. Hmm. I know. Yeah, I guess. And I don't think I like the Meeseeks as much as like some of the other like more alien characters in yeah. the show. Do you think do you think Rick invented the Meeseeks or did he just buy them from some buy the box from somewhere? I don't know. It can really go either way. Like with anything he has. Mm. I, I think the Meeseeks are something he found. More mm. like. Yeah, I kind of see that way. Mm. Yeah, you know, you know, when the mention it, it was kind of evenly, like there wasn't really an A plot or a B plot. Like I kind of thought that you know the one with Rick and Morty in it because they're the main characters would be the mm -hmm. main one, but. Kind of, it kind of was evenly split, and because of that, neither story really got to actually develop a lot. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe isn't one of the best episodes, actually. Well, I mean, the Meeseeks. Or not, I think the Meeseeks plot was okay. The other one kind of went around in a bunch of different directions. So, in like, I know, but yeah, I think the Meeseeks one, you know, had a, it, you know, it was pretty mm -hmm. like contained, you know, pretty contained story. I know. I am interested in like the the beginning of the episode where like. Uh, where he had to kill the the, the oh like, yeah and, and, like I, I forgot what it was but he listed a whole thing like you know, yeah they're robot possessed clones or uh -huh. something and uh, and then for 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 like no reason or no they didn't explain at all but he was holding some sort of like the Super Nintendo cartridge yes yeah, Nintendo cartridge I mean I just want to know what the context of that yeah. was it, it's very collectible yeah hmm. yeah the the the, the all the, the like alien clones or whatever they were, they they were just like Indiana Jonesing. They 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 wanted to, they wanted to put the any SNES cartridge in a museum. Ah uh, yeah. And and <laughs> and Morty wanted it for himself. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. I, I think I like the character interaction this this episode, mm -hmm. like, especially between like Rick and Morty. Yeah. Like, I was surprised oh, yeah. by the, the yeah yeah. I mean in this one like Rick kind of. Shows that he does care, at, you know. Yeah. At, at, at a, there is, there is like he does care somewhat. Like, I mean, like mm -hmm. even though the episode, previous episodes don't really seem that way. Yeah, I think he's like said it before, but I think it was like the first time he actually. Well, like, there, there are yeah. there are moments. There are moments like yeah. in the uh, the last one, the the M Night Shaman Aliens one, yeah. where th there was the time where they were just like. 
throwing the chips around, and he was like, oh, it's always always time for a little roughhousing. Uh, yeah, or, yeah. Uh, whatever it was, yeah, that, that was just, yeah. yeah I, mean, I mean, that was like, I felt like, kind of, well, I mean, this is, that was from that previous episode, but that was kind of, like, I wasn't sure if there was, like, if that was some sort of simulation thing, it just kind of seemed weird and out of place, but I don't know, I guess. No, I think it's just, like, some, I think, yeah, yeah like, Rick does, he, he wants, yeah. he likes Morty, and he wants Morty to like him, so, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, so it's... Yeah. Yeah. I think that's pretty much all I have to say, then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm.